In this video, we're going to unbox and install the 9999 SC2 Handoff Auto Selector Switch Kit for the NEMA 1 enclosed clamshell design with the shoes with the Type S, as well as our 8903 Type L and LX lighting contactors. When we're unboxing it, you'll get a couple pieces to this kit. You'll get the instruction bulletins. This also comes with a set of danger labels in three languages, a secondary danger label that says you have one or more live circuits into, in the device, a standard instruction kit for the SC2, as well as a extra instruction kit for the 9999BLX adapter bracket. Uh, what this is for is when you're not direct mounting the handoff auto selector switch directly to the Type S starters, say for our 8903 Type L and LX, you need this adapter kit to hold the device in place while you put the clamshell closure back on. You'll get your handoff auto selector switch, a wiring harness with a red, yellow, and black wire cut to length, stripped, and tinned uh, already ready for you, as well as an extra piece of red wire that's terminaled for your extension to your terminal block if you so use it. Speaking of the terminal block, you'll get a terminal block itself for localized wiring for the device. Um, you'll get an extension for that terminal block if you wanted to mount the terminal block and the handoff auto selector switch so you can use them both at the same time, as well as some wiring clips that are usually used for enclosed um, hinged enclosures so you can run your wire, make them neat inside the panel. We won't use this in this install just because the handoff auto directly mounts to the starter. So these pins here on the handoff auto on the opposite side of it, what they'll do is they'll actually mount in these cavities on the Type S motor starter. And then for your enclosure, I have already done the knockout in the rectangular section of the clamshell design. So what you'll do once this is wired up and ready to go, slide your clamshell enclosure back on there and it fits right outside of that, maintaining your NEMA 1 enclosure rating uh, for the handoff auto. For wiring for the 9999SC2 handoff auto selector switch, it's standard two wire control. When you get the starter itself for the Type S under separate control, you'll have just a wire from 95 on your overload relay to the left hand side of your coil. No other wires will be installed except this jumper terminal from 3 in your holding circuit contact to your coil, which you won't use here. For wiring here, you'll actually have your one leg of your separate control source, usually your neutral in your 24 volt, 120 and 277. If you have 460 or 483 phase, it's just your other secondary wire. Um, you're gonna wire from there to the right hand side of your overload relay, which is gonna have a normally closed contact here that indicates trip and breaks that circuit. And for your handoff auto side, you'll have what for separate control, usually your hot leg. You'll have that wired to your 1A of your handoff auto, and then you'll connect 3A to the left-hand side of your coil. The way this handoff auto selector switch works is in the off position, there's no closed contact, so everything's open. In the hand position, you'll have 2A to 3A, which is closed, as well as 1A to 2A, which is gonna be closed as well, taking that line voltage that you have connected to 1A straight to the left hand side of your coil engaging your contactor. In auto, you'll actually have 1A and 2A open with 2A to 3A closed and your connection point is going to be your automatic source. So a float switch, a limit switch, or pressure switch. You're going to wire out from 1A, which is carrying your hot leg in this instance, to your switch, your normally open switch then back to 2A, which is going to be your control source. And then once that engages, it takes that voltage and current to 3A, to the coil, thus completing the contact. For common control, 
you'll see the wires are a little bit different. Um, you will actually get a starter that does not have Form S on it. Um, and this wire from L2, this control takeoff screw behind L2, down to your overload relay will be installed, as well as your 95 to the right hand side of your coil, as well as that same jumper we mentioned earlier. So the connection points to your HOA are a little bit different as far as your line voltage where it comes in. 3A to the left hand side of your coil is still there, so you'll still wire that. Um, you'll see in the drawing on the screen that takeoff screw from behind terminal L1, it's actually labeled on the nameplate for terminal 1, will go to 1A of your handoff auto. And then it basically is the same principles as a separate source where 1A to 2A will close in hand, sending voltage to your coil. In auto, you'll have your switch, your, your normally open um, supplied contact or your automatic contact will be the jumper point from 1A to your contact back to 2A. And that'll complete your circuit to the coil and engage your coil. Thank you.